Hello. Thank you so very much for taking the time to view this. I do appreciate it and I hope you're doing well. I thought I would take a few minutes and share with you some thoughts that I have on this tent behind me. First off, uh, the advertisement for this tent was a core equipment brand tent with uh, the sleeping capacity of nine, uh, 16 by nine foot floor space and a center height of 72 inches. Uh, it's called an extended dome, okay? Now we understand with an dome style tent that the sides do slope off, okay? Now, I will tell you that I've put it up uh, now all, what, about three times. And I will tell you that uh, pulling it as taut is reasonably possible. I'm still a few inches short on the length and the width of getting this thing to a full 16 by nine. Uh, so I do have some issue with that. Uh, you know, I feel like if they advertise a 16 by nine floor plan and you put the thing up uh, reasonably taut, you ought to be able to get that. You know, that's what's advertised. Okay. Uh, I will tell you that my next issue with some of it is that uh, around some of the edges, say inside along some of these seams, uh, the needle holes are a little large, and I feel like over time they're going to separate and possibly be some weak points where, you know, as tension is, is held on that tent, those, those little needle holes may get bigger where they are, where they are put together. And, and that is some concern. I would expect that right out of the factory shipped out that that wouldn't be an issue. Um, maybe it is, maybe it's not, but it is a concern when you buy something new that it already appears to have some weak points where they didn't get the stitching completely correct, okay? Uh, I will tell you up front that uh, the door, the, the zippers could be better. Uh, They're quite snaggy, I will say, and they do have a tendency to catch the fabric just the way it's made so closely. Uh, you know, Something I wondered about, if you put a, some type of slight reinforcement a little bit along there, that might would improve that. Um, but hey, that's just a thought. Uh, overall, because I'm not, I don't feel like this meets the full 16 by nine floor plan and there are some concerns with it. I think I will send this back um, and, and get something different because I do expect uh, something that is as is, is bought new should be ready to go from the factory uh, another issue that I have and maybe this is expecting too much but why do they include these little wimpy stakes with these tents I mean it's almost a given that you have to go out and immediately purchase new stakes because even in this soft ground they want to bend uh, you know come on tent manufacturers, especially a large tent like this. Put some decent stakes in there. That's what I've got to say about that. Now, I will tell you, good stakes on this tent, just a little more attention to the uh, some of the stitching in there by core, and uh, this, this could be a good tent. And if they actually gave you the full, uh, the full 16 by, by nine when you when you put it up and put it reasonably tall, you know. Uh, maybe if you undo, maybe if you unstitched all that and laid it out flat, maybe you could get the 16 by nine, but that'd kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? And, uh, and all, but, uh, you know, maybe that sounds a little harsh, and maybe it is. But I, I expect when you advertise something that you deliver on what you advertise companies, okay? I don't expect any more, but I certainly don't expect any less. Uh, that's just kind of my thoughts on it. Um, because well, if I pay for 16 by nine, I shouldn't get, uh, you know, 15 and a half or six, you know, whatever the case. And, uh, you know, I think it's about four or five inches short each way. So, you know, I shouldn't get 15, uh, eight or 15, seven. Uh, 
Now, with that said, well, I understand it is a, you know, and that's one reason I went with a, a little larger footprint of a tent instead of, say, going with maybe a uh, 14 by 7 or 14 by 8 dome because I already recognize that you have some bit of slope off on the ends, and I wanted to account for that. However, when you don't give me the floor space and then I still have to account for it, that increases the issue right there. Now, over here on the edge, you've got about a four foot height right here inside, not quite four foot, okay? Beyond that, you see how quickly it slopes off. That last uh, foot and a half is not uh, usable for a whole lot. I mean, you can push something out up there in the corner. Right in the very center, you do have probably nearly 72 inches okay center okay uh that quickly slopes off i can stand up right in the center of it i take more than a step one way or the other hardly and i'm gonna be bumping the roof and i'm gonna make a note here if you put the when i put the that little uh piece of fabric that piece of netting that you're supposed to be able to lay stuff up on well then you lose that head space Okay, you lose that height. All right, that's what I've got to say about that. Now, the positives on this tent are that, hey, it's a sharp looking tent. I mean, color wise and, uh, uh, you know, and you fix those few little issues, be a good tent, okay? Be a good tent. Uh, it's a shame. Here lately, it just seems like so much of the quality is dropping off, and it seems like we're supposed to just almost expect it and deal with it, that things aren't going to be just 100% as advertised or 100% correct. Um, you know, just kind of, I find it a little bit aggravating, okay, because you ought to be able, you're 16 by 9, you ought to get it. No more, no less. You know? When it, when it shows up, they ought to have somebody checking the stitching at the factories or whatever, making sure it's right. You know, uh, first time putting this tent up, when I laid it out, I put it up extremely carefully, really took the time. Uh, took right around an hour to put it up. Uh, now I put it up today again and uh, down to just a shade over 20 minutes. Realistically, you'd probably say about 25 minutes on this tent for one person putting up for me. Um, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't go ahead and tie out the uh, rain fly today because I just wanted to get it back up for this review and kind of uh, check it over and roll it up real neat before I sent it back. But uh, I'll show you the the inside of it right quick and kind of kind of point a few things out to you first off the the zippers on this door are just real snaggy especially right through here uh, and with this run it's kind of cloudy out today so i'm not getting a lot of sun but you see there are these little issues right here and you pull this rain fly off and you can really see it where it feels like this is just almost wanting to separate a little bit where these large needle holes and i i'm very concerned that that right there is going quickly after a few uses would wind up and uh and be a be a problem uh of course same right here in the center without anything i can stand up right here right here um yeah, and all but that's it over here you've got about you know like i say Kind of have to kneel down here, and uh, like I say, right here is about four foot. Got your edges. You see how quickly it slopes off down at the bottom. Um, kind of laid the tape measure out here, and like I say, I'm about all oh, about what three, four inches short there on that, and uh, about three, four inches short there. I mean, that's just uh, seem like a lot. But it is. 
and you notice that the that's in the center on this center piece you get back up here you're you're cutting back your size considerably i noticed from a practical standpoint that uh, if you set up an air mattress or anything of course you don't want to be right against the edge of the tent uh because you don't want to be up against pushing on the fabric of course wearing the fabric and particularly if it rains you don't want to be there you also have this this vent right there so you've got to come out about a foot and a half realistically um lay our mattress down to be able to get used to it. you've got to come out about a foot and a half so there's three feet okay so you go from a 16 down to about 13 usable space there other than you you could lay something flat that's reasonably flat up against the edges um put up a cot in here the own you know you've got to for a cot you've got to come out all to about right here so you could lose even more space so realistically could you get you could lay three uh queen size air mattresses probably in here side by side by side um be tight you know i don't see nine people sleeping in here comfortably yeah you put them side by side by side and hey i understand that advertising but you see all these loose threads here too that just wants to snag every time you you go to zip it up they could do a little better um really that's my issue is it could do a little better core um you know just you do have venting um there are no side when the the windows on the sides here on each end are just mesh the rain fly covers when you pull the rain fly taut outside and and, and uh, stake it out you do have a little gap there okay you've got netting overhead of course you do have a back window that zips and you do have a window on this door that zips okay uh you know you got a lot of places like this um that's different things all in all i just uh you have more of this right here like i say when the sun's really shining you can really see that clearly uh I'll just say something if anybody with core is listening, which they're probably not, and they probably don't care. But if they are, I would say this could be a really good tent. Clean up your stitching inside a little bit. Uh, give a full 16 by nine and turn this into more of a bathroom floor style tent uh, while you're at it. Put some better stakes in there so a person if a person grabbed this tent and they took off to the lake or took off uh to the woods somewhere camping that have everything they needed put this tent up right and uh not have to worry with those old flimsy stakes having to run by some more immediately those type things uh put a little better zipper in here Make things work a little more smoothly. Because, you know, here's the thing on a tent. What's the most heavily used, realistically, that door? That's got to have a top-of-the-line zipper. If you do nothing else, put a really good zipper in the door of a tent. Uh, maybe make these come down just a little bit further. Um... And, you know, maybe this is for purposes of lighting, but I don't think people spend a lot of time in the tent during the day. I would probably darken this up slightly. Maybe make this, uh, that darker gray across here all the way or thicken it up a little bit um, to hold out a little light at night. Because I will tell you, the tent can be a little bright at night, even in a dark area if you're on moonlit. Uh, I noticed this the other night that uh, that it's, it's brighter than what you think in there. And, and, of course, moon and stars shining bright. But uh, 
that's just a fault that I've got. And, uh, but it teach their own. Well, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, and, uh, it's ring and pin style. You know, uh, Oh, what else to say about it there? But anyway, I'm not telling you whether to get one or, or not. If you find it at a really good price, it might. And you're willing to uh, understand it does have some issues up front that are may. Then, hey, may work great. If you're not willing to deal with that or you expect it to be as advertised, um, hey, then it might, might be a concern. All right, y'all take care.